Virgos. I'm Infinite Starheart. Welcome to my channel. This will be your August 2020 monthly reading for all of my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Alright, if you have those placements anywhere in your chart, these messages may resonate. Okay, if you're new, welcome and thank you for being here. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to stay updated with the current energies and other content on my channel. Okay, I can also be reached for a personal reading. You can email me at infinitestarheart at gmail.com. All right, Virgos, we're officially in Leo season, so let's see what are the messages you need to know for the month ahead. Okay, Virgos, let's see what do you need to know for the month of August. This will be for all of my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please note this is a general reading. Only apply the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Alright Virgo, let's see what is the energy surrounding you for the month of August. What does my Virgo need to know for the month of August? First card coming out here is balance. Yin and yang darkness and light stay center in your higher self okay beautiful so the energy surrounding you this month Virgo is going to be balanced okay I feel like you're going to be um, balancing a lot of things uh, work career home um, love life you know really putting in um, you know the effort to um, You know, stay centered this month as well. Not to overdo it. What else does my Virgo need to know? You have inner child. Playful, happy, enjoy the present moment. Live to the fullest. Okay, beautiful energy, um, Virgo. The inner child. This also speaks about you um, just being in that playful energy. You know, also possibly being creative this month. Okay, um, when you think of the inner child, you think of um, your inner inner youthfulness. Okay, um, getting creative. Use your imagination at this time as well. You know, you may come up with some ideas you may have not um, expected to this month okay definitely enjoy the present moment stay in the moment okay what are the messages for my Virgos what do they need to know this month okay family Kids, opinions, judgment, resolve family stress, get support, okay? So, yes, um, this month you can be uh, focusing on your family, okay? Um, I know there are some kids that are probably getting ready to start back school here soon as well, okay? This may be um, the time for you to, you know, um, plan and pre prepare, you know, get the, the children ready, as far as, um, you know, for schools, concern coming up and, um, you know, possibly just, like I said, spending more time at home with the children, especially. Okay. You have creativity. I just said that earlier. Inspiration, productivity, creation. Bring out the greatness within. Okay? Beautiful. Um, again, so like I said, Virgo, I feel like you're going to be in this energy of creating new ideas. Possibly creating new ideas for the home. Okay? Coming up with um, new things for you to do. Um, also seen earlier, like I said, um, a lot of signs are in the energy of homeschooling their children this month. Okay? Um, you could be, like I said coming up with new playful ideas and um, things that you can do for the children at home. If you have kids, this is not for everyone. Okay, next card out here is Wisdom. 
silence, meditation, knowledge. Look within for answers, okay? So, yes, definitely, um, like I said, you will be um, definitely centering yourself, um, doing some grounding as well, going within, okay? Meditation does bring answers, so seek uh, your spirit guides um, if you're needing any assistance. Um, I feel like when you know, whenever you go within and you connect to your inner child here, you will um, start to find the answers that you're seeking during this time. Okay. What else for my Virgos? <laughs> All right, you have the chaser in pursuit, convincing rejection. Let them go and let it be. Okay. Absolutely. Um, this could be for some of you. If you were the one um, chasing someone in, someone in this connection, okay, um, is saying that it's time to let them go and let it be, all right? Possibly if you were wondering if this person was going to come back around, um, possibly recently uh, receive, you know, some downloads regarding, you know, of this person and maybe that you know they just don't want to be tied down here okay all right and um at the bottom of the deck you have free will choices decisions contact in action action cannot be forced yeah so um virgo if uh there's someone possibly that you are chasing during this month or wanting back okay please do understand that everyone has their own free will here okay um you know they can they can choose you know who they may want to deal with and um if someone possibly maybe trying to reach out to you that you don't want you know contacting you or if, like I said if this is you um roles can be reversed here um please um respect this person's you know uh choice and, and decision and most definitely their space if they're um wanting to let something go okay action cannot be forced Okay, you can't force anyone to be in a connection with you um, if they're not wanting to. Okay, I'm going to pull a love oracle for you, Virgo, to get some more messages out here. What other messages? Okay, wedding. This situation involves a marriage. This can be for some of you, um, again, that are that are in committed relationships, okay, possibly in a marriage as well. You possibly could be finding the time to balance things out um, in the home this month, okay. Um, things possibly will be more balanced between you and your partner, uh, which is awesome, okay. Yes, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay? Healing family issues, and that's surrounded, you know, here with family, okay? Again, um, as I was saying earlier, that um, I feel like once you um, go within, you know, you um, have this inner child, this type of energy, okay? You're able to heal family issues here, okay, you're going to come up with some ideas and, and be more creative, you know, um, around the home this month, this is, this is going to help you, you know, be more involved, um, with the children, okay, um, yeah, and your love life benefits, you know, as you do this, okay, there's going to be more love in the home, um, possibly with you and the kids, and for those of you, like I said, that are in committed relationships, you know, with your partner as well, okay, so lots of balance uh, going on um, for most of you. Okay, you have trust. This is, situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, um, some of you, you could have had your person could have um, stepped out or left this connection here. All right, and you possibly are wanting them to come back or chase them, you know, back down to, um, 
stay in this connection here, but, um, you know, trust that if someone doesn't, you know, want to be, um, in a relationship, you know, they're going to show signs of that, and if they're not wanting to be around, okay, I feel like you would need to pay attention to those, uh, signs. Let's see, religious factors, okay? Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so a lot of focus, like I said, on the family um, this month for you all, Virgo. Um, and this also can be, like I said, what's needing to um, be healed in the past, okay? Religious factors. This is different upbringing. Um, you and your person can have different backgrounds as well, okay? Um, but there's something here um, that could have caused, you know, a, a clash in you all's relationship. Reason why um, balance is needing or will be restored this month for you, okay? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? Beautiful. All right, I feel like, um, yeah, when you... When you have more respect for yourself, Virgo, um, you will attract the love that's meant to be in your life, okay? You won't have to chase them down, okay? Um, I'm a firm believer that what's meant for you, you know, is for you. So, um, if your person, you know, um, if they're ready, you know, during this time, they will come in. Um, whether this is someone new or the person that um, you were dealing with, um, they possibly you know, uh, lack trust in this connection for whatever reason. Um, like I said, it's, it's a lot of um, focus on the family, you know, healing um, possibly family ties and um, things that, like I said, cause uh, a, a confusion, you know, in this connection. Um, with there being, you know, different beliefs and possibly, you know, as far as how um, one may choose to raise their, their child, okay? One may, you know, um, choose to use one form of discipline while the other parent, you know, may use a less strict, you know, form of discipline, okay? So even those types of differences, you know, can play a factor, you know, um, in the home here. All right, at the bottom of the deck, Virgo, you have free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life here. Okay, so I feel like um, this can be you or um, the person that you're dealing with that free yourself. This came up here twice. We um, are still, you know, not even halfway in a reading here, but uh, Spirit is calling for you to free yourself, okay? You have free will here. Um, all right, actions cannot be forced. I feel like um, if this was you, if, if you left, okay, you possibly could have had someone that was chasing you in this connection that possibly, um, you know, wanted you, wanted you back and you were aware of this. But with cycles here underneath that, um, this is saying that, you know, you're closing out a cycle. It's time for this um, to end here, okay? All right, yeah, you have masculine here, too. Your twin or soulmate is seeking you. All right, I feel like once you um, free yourself from this connection here, you will attract um, your true soul uh, soulmate or twin flame here, okay? Beautiful energy so far, um, Virgos. going to pull the power card for you. Spirit, what other messages do you have for my Virgos? You have the lovers. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, with the lovers here, um, this is like the, um, the lovers in original tarot deck is the two of cups here, but, um, this is still, um, water energy. Okay. Um, this is you having good luck and things and 
and in love and it going your way as well okay whenever you follow your heart all right um and you possibly could have done this in this um connection in the past here not to say that things doesn't you know turn out you know uh unexpectedly you know the way that we didn't think it would okay but you're having the wisdom in that as well in knowing that okay um when it didn't work out with this person okay but you can still have your heart open to attract the love that you deserve okay You have nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Absolutely, I feel like this is um, what you're needing to heal from at this time, Virgo. Um, the nine of Michael is like the nine of swords, okay? You could have been dealing with someone that has air in their chart. All right, but um, it's, it's time for you to release... Uh, this energy releases person okay free yourself and um that way you can close out this cycle and bring in your new soulmate this month okay it's unnecessary you know uh to worry um you possibly could have felt like um you know you didn't understand what was going on here all right you have the Ace of Michael, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up com communication problems with others. Absolutely. Um, okay, this month I feel like Virgo, you're going to be in the energy of, um, you know, just, you're going to be in this creative energy as we've seen earlier, okay, with, um, you know some new idea that's going to come to you this month okay and it could have something to do with family all right um this could be something that's going to you know possibly you know boost your family as well okay the um the connection there okay you're going to be um speaking your mind and um just really speaking your truth as well okay you also had the Empress, okay? Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. Dang, Virgo, are y'all fertile this month? Okay, some of you may get pregnant. You have the Empress energy. Again, all this creative energy that you're going to be surrounded in this month, okay? Um, trust that uh, whatever you know plans you're putting in motion this month you know that um it's going to work out for you okay it's time to put into action if you haven't done so already and after that you had new beginnings okay so i'm gonna be a virgo this month i'll tell you um <laughs> starting a new life finding your purpose and forgiving and compassionate review of the past so i feel like this is you um going into the month with the wisdom that you had from dealing with, um, you know, people, you know, you possibly could have, um, like I said, just got, just got out of a marriage, all right, um, having the wisdom that, you know, you can't, you know, force anyone to stay in, stay in a connection, okay, if you find yourself having to chase this person or constantly, you know, you're the, you're always the one reaching out um making the effort okay it's a one-sided relationship there's nothing balanced about that uh virgo okay so i feel like you are closing you know um a chapter of um you know just not being fully in your power i feel like okay you have purpose all right um you have a call a higher calling um coming to you Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you had nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Yes, Virgo. Okay. Um, nine of Ariel. This is like the nine of pentacles. This is you definitely being proud of your uh, accomplishments. Okay. I f um, strongly um, feel like 
like I said, you're going to be prosperous in whatever this new idea um, that's going to be coming to you this month, okay? This is going to um, bring in, you know, a good um, source of income for you, all right? You could be, you know, um, deciding to start your own business as well, okay? This is you being in this um, entrepreneur um, energy, you know, being a boss, being your own boss, okay, even if you're, you know, being, you're a leader, you could be, um, running another, um, company still, you know, that's, um, an opportunity that you, you know, having a higher role in, um, definitely, you know, putting in the hard work, you know, and reaping those benefits, okay, Lots going on for you, um, Virgo, surrounding the home and um, all this creative energy. Okay, that may not may not be for everyone, but majority of, of you, I see. You know, nothing but good things um, coming up in the month of August. Yes, I feel like uh, this came out because you possibly, you knew you had to sacrifice a connection, possibly knowing that um, someone or something was holding you back, okay? So, uh, like I say, you have the wisdom of that this month, doing what's necessary um, here, you know, to balance um, the situation as well. Okay, prosperity begins. All of this is coming out on top of your, uh, like I said, the family, the home, um, being creative. All right, whatever you set your mind to this month, Virgo, do not doubt yourself this month. I really feel like uh, this is a good time for you to go ahead and get started on that business. Whatever new project it is that you wanted um, to get started with this month, this is the perfect opportunity for you, okay? Um, you possibly already have a business that you, you're just getting starting, starting with and you're starting to see those benefits, you know, come through this month. Okay, third eye chakra, beautiful. I feel like um, your in intuition will be heightened this month, okay? This is you as well, like I said, using um, your experiences, using the things that you have been through, um, you know, to, to help you as far as um, on your, um, as you're ascending, as you're growing here, okay? Choosing, you know, to not um, react or have certain behaviors that you did before, okay? Learning to balance that and also, um, you know, be lighthearted, you know, in a situation or with dealing with family, okay, as well, all right? Um, at the bottom of the deck, you have financial and material changes. So this is followed, I feel like, again, with... Um, you know, with your new beginnings you have, we've seen that, you know, coming up here twice as well. This is you, I'm starting a new life, okay? This can be a sudden change, but I feel like this is a change for the better, okay? I, I feel like your finances are going to get, you know, um, better this month, all right? You're going to be, um, you know, making your mark this month um, as far as whatever it is that you're working on. It's going to bring you success, okay? So again, like I said, this is um, looking good for you, Virgo, um, this month ahead for August. We're going to clarify some of these um, energies for you. Very powerful month um, for you all as well. You have um, the Ace of Wands here, okay? It wanted to come out in, a, in the reverse. Um, 
I feel like only because you was ignoring something within this connection or whoever you were dealing with at first, okay? But ultimately, the Ace of Wands and the Upright, this is you having a new opportunity, having a happy outcome as well, okay? You could be receiving some good news if you were waiting on that. Um, for some of you, some unexpected um, money could be coming in for you, okay? Um, definitely having um, progress in your career this month. Okay. Yeah. With the Nine of Swords and the Death card. Okay. So, yeah. That Ace of Wands in the reverse was correct with this coming out. Um, the Nine of Swords was in a reverse. And that was denying that um, something, you know, someone needed to work on something. Somebody could have had, um, like I said, something dealing I'm getting just behavior um just in a way somebody was uh possibly acting acting out towards or lashing out towards you know other members or family here okay um but that situation has ended okay I feel like someone um you know wasn't treating you uh right in this connection okay you were wise to um you know Redraw yourself emotionally from this connection with the King of Cups here at the bottom. Let's see what else we have. Okay, you have the King of Pentacles. This definitely could have been a marriage. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles coming out here. Okay. Um, this is you, you know, just trying to make practical decisions, you know, in a home during this time. Okay, possibly trying to, uh, for some of you, like I said, that are in a marriage and you're trying to work on your marriage here, I feel like um, you're going to find some answers this month um, that's going to help you possibly balance out, yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? This is having good news as well, um, just positive events moving forward, okay? Um, you're learning to... Um, just do your best at this time in being creative as far as um, how you handle situations um, in the home. Okay? You have the Six of Wands or Swords here at the bottom. Um, this is some, someone not wanting the situation to end. So I see possibly some of you could be reaching out, deciding to do um, counseling as well. Um, like I said, that's not for all of you, just some. But, um, you know, someone is wanting to improve the situation and trying to uh, make it better here, okay? Yeah, because um, there could have been some trust issues. Someone didn't trust someone um, in this connection. Yeah, with the Seven of Wands here and the Nine of Wands, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, you felt like you had to um, stand up to this person, okay? You had to um, protect some idea that, um, you know, that you stand firm on. You have the wisdom about as far as, you know, um, possibly not, this person not engaging, okay? Not being, just not being um around much maybe this person wasn't here in the home much in the family okay and um wanting to try to um do better about that you know being around the family more okay you have the nine of wands which is um not giving up okay um so easily all right yeah five of cups here okay um someone could be afraid to um heal and move on here so possibly that's why you were trying to stay in this connection and um you know just not give up here um which is understandable whenever you have a family and a marriage involved okay um you would want to do everything that you felt uh was needed or possible um to try to make it work with that person okay um, and sometimes, you know, we can go to counseling and things of that stuff and it would help and others, you know, it doesn't always turn out that way. But, uh, okay, um, 
whoever left this connection um, with the Six of Cups here, you know, you're feeling, you know, bitter about it, okay? Possibly was still um, upset, you know, over something that this person did, you know, previously, all right? And maybe um, things haven't been, you know, going well due to that. Yeah, and someone made, uh, possibly made judgment on this, but with the Four of Swords, okay, this is you um, taking the time out for yourself to regroup, uh, meditate, possibly going within and really, um, you know, figuring out what is best for you during this time, okay? Any other messages, okay? Yeah, you have the Three of Cups here with the Three of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Cups here, okay? Um, this person possibly could have had you in a third party, yeah, with the Lovers. Um, you had the Three of Cups in the reverse. Um, someone, you know, made an unwise choice here, okay? And left the other person feeling, you know, unappreciated, all right? With the Three of Wands, you just let me know that this just wasn't going to work for you okay you didn't see any progress all right you got clarity with the eight of swords here and you're happy now that um you can move on with the nine of cups here okay yeah you have the ace of cups this is your wish okay um this is you having hope and faith in the future all right um with the three of swords and the king of swords here it's like you no longer want to be involved in any, you know, third parties. Threes coming out again, okay? Yeah, the truth is coming out, or the truth has came out in this situation, okay? Yeah, you have the Page of Swords, all right? You're ready to uh, face the challenge, and, um, you know, just, you know what to do here, all right? You went ahead and left, and, um, yeah, because you felt like this person was getting away, Okay, so you felt like this person was getting away with something, <laughs> yeah, unethical basically, and that this person wasn't treating you uh, the way you deserve to be treated. I'm going to pull you an angel's answers. You have big happy changes, yeah. Virgo, this is your energy, um, having new beginnings, big happy changes here, okay, closing out the cycle, um, being creative, putting those ideas out there this month, okay, um, everything is looking good, uh, so for some of you, you know, dealing with um, relationship connections of those sort, but all of that would be worked out for you this month, don't fear, alright, don't fret, Okay. Don't